Amen. So what a blessing. Um, the great thing about uh, baptisms is that usually, obviously, they are, they are, they are a public um, means of kind of professing what you believe innerly, right? And the great thing about doing it in public is that it usually gets the attention of other people who have nothing to do with baptism. Um, so I love that because there were so many, like, of people, of people watching, you know, and I think even a, a few of us even went to them and said, hey, uh, how you doing? My name is whatever, and you're wondering what you're looking at, or, you know, so we're, it, that gives you opportunity to kind of spread the word even more. So the great thing about the baptism is that, yes, we got 15 baptized, but even other potentials who, were, who obviously it catches their attention who may not have, we've never even seen that so in action. So praise God for that. All right, and then uh, Sunday, uh, there was the service. Um, that we had and we're joining with North Hill Baptist Church. So those are the things that kind of happened last week um, as far as highlights. So we just praise God for those opportunities to outreach to the community. All right, so looking into your bulletin, the first thing uh, that we have is on the third uh, Sunday. So that's going to be the adults night. That's tomorrow. Um, so adults night in 2 p.m. at Jeremy and Renata's. If you have any questions, see Jeremy and Renata. All right. All right. All right. But it's at 2 p.m. I have no idea how to give you directions, so don't ask me. All right, just ask Jeremy Renata. Okay, those are your points of contacts. I've been asked not to use acronyms, so point of contacts, which is PLC. So, okay, <laughs> hashtag yeah, hashtag PLC. Okay. <laughs> All right. So Wednesday night Bible studies. You might notice the title was different. I actually noticed it about seven minutes ago, so that's why I had to ask the pastor what was that. Um, so it says discipleship on there, so there, we're doing a little bit more than just having the Bible study, but a little more interaction in regards to, um, so a lot of the work that goes in the church sometimes can stay in the church, and that's not what we're meant to do, is just to stay in the church, all right? We're supposed to actually disciple, um, make sure the word is getting outside of these walls, amen? Okay. Um, so, discipleship Bible study that, that is starting, or may, may have started last week, not sure, um, um, is different in interaction in regards to actually empowering us and giving us the information that we need to spread the word. Amen. So, please come to that. Um, that will be on Wednesday nights at 6.30 p.m., which is 18.30. Okay. All right. So, the Courageous Bible Study um, at 7 p.m. that is still at Corey's house. I was told that that name changed. I do not agree with the name because it's copyrighted, but um, the name is Iron Man. <laughs> so I've already scheduled a meeting with Robert Downey Jr., so <laughs> yeah, he'll be coming soon. Okay, but um, so that will be the study that will be over at Corey's house. I believe it's still at Corey's house. Um, but that is Courageous Life Bible Study, which you, well, that was the old past name, so it's now going to be called Iron Man, okay? Um, and on that same night, I'm reading that correctly, uh, is prayer um, from 6 to 7 p.m. So you can pray a little bit, men, um, and then go to the Courageous Bible Study afterwards. What a great night, all right? So um, please keep that in your calendars. All right, and then we have on the 9th, uh, book study be 10 a.m. at Renata's. Still good for that? Yes, all right. So again, if you have any questions, um, you can see Renata, but that's going to be happening on the 9th, a week from today. Okay, those are all the announcements that I will be announcing tonight, but if you have any questions about what's coming up, they are in your bulletin here. All right, Ashley, I'm sorry, one more thing that I actually highlighted, sorry. Uh, children's serving opportunity. So April happens to have a fifth Sunday, yes? Saturday. Saturday. Oof, okay. A fifth Saturday. Um, so that means that the kids get to serve in the body of the Christ, all right, or body of Christ. Um, so if they like to sing, serve as ushers, so on and so forth, um, please get with Karen uh, for details. And so that way uh, we can kind of figure out where they're going to go, join the worship team, so on and so forth. All right. And then we can um, get them involved in, the, in that. So it's an awesome thing, an awesome opportunity uh, for them. And with that, Pastor Bill. <laughs> 